Good morning everybody, it's Kirsten and Cedric here from Utopia Wellness and we have a extra special news yes. flash for you today. We wanted to tell you about our subsidised yoga classes. Healthy Active Morton from the Morton Bay Regional Council have a whole range of activities that they subsidise so that residents can have access to really low cost healthy activities that they can come along to and we're really privileged to be one of those activities that they help subsidize so coming up very soon uh, actually we're going to kick off uh, the official kickoff date for the Caboolture hub subsidized classes is august the second, second. i believe and yeah. those classes are only going to cost people a mere four dollars per session to come to right what did you say it's just four dollars four dollars four dollars and last year when we ran these classes they were five dollars a session and I had this idea that okay council has changed the way they're doing things a little bit and so uh, attendees only play four dollars now and I thought to myself well we could potentially say to people would you like to round it up to five dollars and for every extra dollar then we're going to donate back to a really great local charity. And awesome. this local charity has been uh, incepted by a good friend of ours, and his name's Matthew Scott. And he has the, the dream of being able to give back to humanity by building these very special bicycle trailer homes that can be used by homeless people at a really, really low cost and, and it will give them really nice shelter that is movable, they can ride their bike with it, they can stay safely, they can be out of the weather in the cold if there happens to be a period of time in their life when they may need it. So we wanted to bring you along and actually introduce you to Matt yep. and show you his prototype bicycle trailer home so that you can see exactly how that all works so that if you choose to donate when you come along to the subsidized yoga classes you'll know exactly where your money's going who it's going to he's got a really great thing going so let's let's, let's walk up the let's check it out. street it's a gorgeous sunny day today Hello! Hello Kirsten! How you doing? Hey everyone! Okay, so How's this is going? Matthew Scott and hey, man. Matthew is, uh, has just been giving us the tour of his bicycle trailer home and here it is right here and that's going to be the new Super Flash bike. <laughs> yes. So it's, Matt was telling us that it's been about three years he's been tweaking this. Now, to yes. put this in context, you know, Matt's a stay-at-home dad. Yep. He does have some beautiful children that he looks after. Three gorgeous ones. Three gorgeous children. And uh, so, you know, as you know, anybody who has children, that they they keep you very busy. <laughs> yes. So it's been a process for him over the last three years of creating this trailer. So, Matt, what would you like to tell us about it? Um, it's a really quick way for people to get out of the shelter. It's a way for them to be portable and to have shelter out of the wind. Um, and they can travel around too, be a little bit nomadic, see the countryside. And, oh. and they, yep. it only costs them $10 a week uh, to hire. And I wanted to, um, um, uh, I wanted to give people the opportunity to have it but also respect it and uh, it seems to be a human trait is that when we pay for something that we uh, respect it a little bit more so yeah, yeah. just just ten dollars a week i think is affordable for everyone and most homeless people are on um centrelink benefits i believe and uh yeah so then they can have a house have some shelter get out of the wind the rain uh, even have some led lights in here and um yeah read or actually enjoy some comfort for a change and you've got these really funky solar panels that are actually flexible yes so they wrap right over the top yes they do they they, they bend and um i've tried to design it so they can move with uh, wherever the trailer is stationed so if they're going to get sun on this side they can move it around this way but i don't think that'll actually be a needed requirement so um mm. yeah i think i'll just uh 
fasten them to the top next time. Although I've been working with the Kabulcha Community Action Group and they suggest that we don't need electricity, don't need an electric bike to carry these because most of the homeless people that they deal with, and they've been in the industry for 10 years now, they've seen quite a number of few, uh, homeless people and they say that they're um, quite fit and agile and are able to pull something like this just with the power of their legs and cool. around here it's really flat anyway so it should yeah. be incredibly doable which is great because it saves uh, time and money so we'll be able to get more of these out to more people without with less fussing around mm. so it'll be really great cool well before yeah. before my battery runs out yeah <laughs> it just gave me the low battery mode sign Excellent. No! yeah we're gonna, we're, <laughs> let's let's see if we can get a quick look, look inside. inside the trailer definitely definitely so we can follow Matt around yep. the back here so we've got the automated door stand just pops out like that <laughs> and then you've got the the luxury interior <laughs> with the eight centimeters of mattresses there, uh, which is oh, great. We just got our first little light too. Thank oh, you. Yeah, hello. Yeah, press that <laughs> like button and let us know if you think this is an awesome idea. And uh, yeah. you know, you can actually, if even if you don't come to our yoga classes, you can donate to housing the homeless with Patreon. Yeah, which is owned by GoFundMe, so yeah, very well established. Um, it, we will put a link to that. I'm gonna go inside and lay down. Oh, go for it. Yep, yeah, sure. Go, said. There's no handbrake on at the moment, right. so. Uh, <laughs> so if Cedric, if Cedric rolls away down the hill, oh, and the valve hasn't been shut on the self-inflating yeah. mat, oh, so damn it, damn it. I can hear That's it whistling. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's big enough. Hey, Shell. Hey, Shelly's watching. Oh, hey, Shelly. So it's nice and big enough. Nice shelter. Yeah. View in the front. Or no view if you want to close it. Vents yep. as well. Yeah, six fans. Yeah, yeah it's six, got fans, six. so it actually ventilates the whole system. Yeah, which is thermostat controlled. You can sit comfortably. Yeah. It's got an LED light above your head. And so it's an awesome idea. Yeah. Thank How you, cool sir. is that, right? Thank you, sir. Oh, we've got all the hearts and the love coming. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, thank you. An awesome idea With that will give too. people Back to that cannot afford a house a shelter. But not only this, sleeping is so important yeah definitely if you have sleep deprivacy is that what you call deprivation deprivation <laughs> your moon your mood and your your you know your, your outlook your, in life uh, it's it's really low yeah and oh, so yeah. if you give people this opportunity to have a good rest and uh, energize and yeah. sleep well um you know yeah. Their life will transform. Oh, definitely. And mental health is uh, such a big problem with homeless people, probably because they're not getting enough sleep or they're out in the cold it or would the rain. Or it would play a, play a big part in, in that. And so this would, this would be a great way of, um, you know, having the, a sense of independence. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there, there's other applications that uh, we were saying it could be awesome for as well. Absolutely. You can see it being a really great ecotourism idea. Yeah. Um, you know, people who Definitely. would like to travel in a really eco-friendly way with just yeah. just the bicycle and a little trailer. I know that you could you could pitch a tent, but you, this is uh, definitely a, a something that could be a good long-term uh, traveling. Yeah. it's way quite to go. light. Yeah. Easy, easy to lift. Yep, yep. <laughs> as you can see, and so putting on behind the bike, it will yeah. be uh, uh, an ease to ride. Yeah, which and is really good. If this suddenly cuts out, that's just because my batteries died. Okay, <laughs> so this, if if we if we disappear all of a sudden, you know what's going on. Yeah. What now, else would you like to tell us, Matt? I, I like yeah. to say something before we go. You know this this donation that you give, which is a dollar, if you come and join us to do the yoga class. It doesn't have to be this. If you're listening and you want to donate, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. we'll put the we'll put the link for Patreon into the uh, the information with this video. That will probably not happen till a bit later today, but it's going to be there. <laughs> so the video is going to go on Facebook. It's going to go on YouTube. Yep. Uh, you'll have uh, the sites and the websites and yeah. things so you can contact us and please yeah. share please share it's a it's a really great uh, thing that we'd like to and if you do have any spread questions, around even the world right now it's a time to ask yeah 
Hi Chloe. Yeah, hey Chloe. <laughs> so um, a couple of things I would love to mention. Thank you so much guys for this, it's been incredible. And uh, I chose, you mentioned the, the the tent, you could pitch a tent you while you're traveling around. Um, I chose this way um, because uh, when you're constantly putting, assembling something and disassembling something, it can deteriorate o over time. So yep. I wanted a, a structure, a design that could just be, you know, open the door, jump in and it's ready to get out of the rain if you're yeah. suddenly caught in the rain or Like a tiny camper. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also a, a really great gentleman in America named... Oh my gosh, mental blank. I'm so sorry, sir. Um, it'll come back to me later. He, I originally saw this design uh, from him, and I uh, so I paid to get the plans from him, and I've adapted it a little bit for my materials and Australian conditions because he mm -hmm. lives in America. Yep. So um, I just saw that saw it one day while I was thinking about this problem, and I thought, wow, that is just perfect. Yeah. Something easy that people can move around and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and, and it's it's light enough that uh, currently Matt has an electric bike attached to this, but yeah. it's light enough that you don't even have to have an electric system, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. Especially around flat areas like yeah. this. So that would be awesome. And, um, and the bike comes with speeds as well. So, you know, you 21 gears, speeds. So yeah. you've got your gears, uh, yeah. you've got up and down the heels and yeah, certainly. Yeah, so certainly. all that is uh, helpful. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, on a national scale, the the census was done, and the, uh, um, the number of homeless people has gone up from one hundred and five thousand to one hundred and fifteen thousand people, which I think in two thousand and nineteen is just preposterous. So I'd like to do something about that. And mm. of that one hundred and fifteen thousand, about eight thousand are in the sleeping rough category. So they're mm -hmm. not couch surfing. They're not staying yeah. in their car. They're not staying with friends. That they have no shelter whatsoever. And this is designed for those eight thousand people initially. Yeah. So um, if we do do uh, eco tourism and hire them out to people, it, that funding will go directly back into building more of these for the eight thousand people who are sleeping rough around our country. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's just shocking. In a, in a great um, nation like Australia, we should be taking care of our homeless people a lot better. Um, and, and also, the this video will go on the the Facebook page, Housing the Homeless Queensland. Um, you should be able to search that Check up out. and find it. Yep. Um, and it'll go on uh, our YouTube channel as well, and the, the, they all have links to the ah, Patreon account. Shirley's too. got a suggestion here. Now yeah. we need landowners to welcome the traveller on their journey. So Definitely. yeah, if you uh, you know, you could there could be uh, a network of Spots. homes where yeah. people are okay to go and park the trailer, and, yeah. and we would be welcome to park the trailer. Sure, which I'm going to include with each trailer. I have a list of places where people can go for free parking yep. or free camping. Yep. Um, also, let them know about Airbnb sites that are in the area yep. and close by. That, that are bicycle are, trailer friendly. Well, camping. Yeah. Yeah. Camping, sometimes they have the space, which is great. Yep, yep, yep. That, that's it. So, yeah, they'll, I'm looking to provide a whole service. Um, uh, and also, if people need a, an, a postal address to get Centrelink, uh, thanks, Shirley. <laughs> if people need a postal address to get Centrelink uh, benefits, then I, I want to provide that type of address as well. But the Butcher Community Action Group does offer something like that too, I believe. They they've been incredible um, just recently, and thank you so much, everyone, from there. Yay! Awesome. How does yeah. it get better? Whoop, whoop. Yeah. All yeah. right, guys. So do get in contact with us. Um, or We'll put all the relevant links into our video and... Thank you so much for watching and please sorry, share, thing. please share. Yeah, please, please. Uh, sorry, one last thing for those who don't know what Patreon is. It's an ongoing monthly crowdfunding platform. So you can opt to put in $5 a month or $10 a yeah. month or $100 a month. Everything would be greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, I, I, I want to scale this up. I've got... Um, ways to, uh, I've got a, a printing company in Kabulcha called Just Signs and Print, and they've, they're amazing. They're gonna do all this, the 3D printing for the core. Yay, flute. Just Signs and Print, yeah. go you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Um, so they'll be able to CNC print all the core flutes. So I'll just be able to um, ri uh, rivet it or um, zip tie it all together, which also keeps the weight down. Um, but that'll make it a lot faster to do it. Um, uh, a local steel construction 
company has um, put together the oh, steel we frame. Oh, we have a quick look at that? Yeah, right. oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we, if we can check that out before the battery runs out. Yeah, sure. There's a, a, a framework yep. here. So what's, what company is that that's put that together for you, Matt? Um, that's a really great question. We'll put the link down in the description as, as well. well. Um, yeah, so it's a C channel and yep. it's infinitely stronger than the current uh, then the current frame for this trailer, um, the, the, this that's prototype, I thought I'd go with um, crutches, yeah. um, which are aluminium and they're round and they're really strong, but it's really fiddly and, and takes a bit of time to get together. So this is incredibly strong C channel. It's all riveted together. So there's yeah, yeah. super strong. Cool. So it's definitely the next way to go. So good. All right. Yeah, well. Yeah. Thanks everyone. So guys, please do share the video, share the info awesome. around, and if you can donate, you can come along to our classes and join the subsidized classes, or you can get on to the Patreon site and uh, help Matt out with this awesome initiative. Yeah, thanks Shirley. Thanks. <laughs> See you everyone. Check yeah. it out. See you guys. Lots Have of a love. great day. Bye. See you guys. Oh.